Happy Tuesday, fifth grade. This is Ms. Gibson coming to you with writing for today. So make sure you're on Tuesday, May 5th, 2020, your writing virtual learning packet. All right, so we're first going to go over what we're going to be focusing on for the next few weeks. And then after that, you're going to get into your Google Classroom where you're going to be typing your writing. Okay, so we are going to be working on creating that perfect paragraph. So we are looping back to what we were doing before we got out of school for quarantine, and we're going to keep focusing on creating different aspects of your writing and your paragraphs so that you can create stronger paragraphs to go into stronger essays, okay? So we have been working all year on understanding writing as making a clear claim and developing that claim. So over the course of the next couple of weeks, we are going to develop our paragraph style writing by studying how to fully answer the prompt. So we're going to, of course, loop back to using text-based evidence that supports your idea, and of course, analyzing how your evidence proves your idea and ensuring that our sentences flow smoothly and work together to prove our point. Today, we are going to read two paragraphs that respond to the exact same prompt. So we've already worked on these prompts before. So these are all student work that I'm pulling right now in regards to us creating that perfect paragraph, okay? So you guys are going to look at these paragraphs and figure out which one is staying on topic the entire time and make sure that they're proving their point in that paragraph to answer this prompt, okay? So again, it's our, it's our job as a reader to be able to understand what makes the stronger paragraph a good piece of writing and what doesn't work about the weaker paragraph. So we're going to practice with two samples, and we are going to look at two samples from the text that we read before, Caves of Doom, okay? So the prompt for that was, what does the author mean by the statement, caves can be menacing as they are fascinating and they should be explored with extreme care? All right, so you guys can go ahead and pause the video and silently read, of course, sample one and two from your content link. All right, so welcome back from reading. So I'm going to, of course, read them aloud, and we're going to think about which one, make, which one makes the stronger paragraph for answering the question all the way, staying on topic, and making sure that they're proving their point. So sample one, it says, the meaning behind caves can be menacing as they are fascinating, means that caves are beautiful and amazing, but they are also dangerous, so people need to be careful when exploring them. There are many things that are amazing about caves It can be discovered, like dazzling crystals, maze-like passages, rare creatures, bones of early humans. This is what the author means when saying caves are fascinating. Caves are menacing too. Animals carry deadly diseases. It gets very cold in caves. Caves can get crushed from boulders. To ensure that explorers are safe, they need to travel in groups, wear sturdy boots and helmets, and carry supplies like flashlights, food, and water. People who are exploring caves need food and water so that they can tend to their, tend to their needs. These people also need sturdy boots and helmets so that they will not get injuries because each year, 50 people are injured in caving accidents and about three are killed. This is why the author says caves are menacing and should be explored with extreme care. All right, let's get into sample two. The meaning behind caves can be menacing as they are fascinating means that caves are beautiful and amazing, but they are also dangerous. So people tend to be careful when exploring them. The author meant this because in the text here, she talks a lot, talks lots about how caves are dangerous. In the text, it says, last July, the world watched in suspense and amazement as 12 boys were rescued from a flooding cave in Thailand. The boys had been hiking with their soccer coach when a heavy storm, heavy rainstorm hit. Choking the cave's entrance with water, trapping the, trapping the group underwater for more than two weeks. This is how the author is showing that caves are very dangerous. Now, since we read these two samples, I want you guys to think about why is sample one stronger than sample two? All right, so we need to realize here that our opening statement, our thesis statements are both the same, right? So clearly it's not the thesis statement that is making sample one stronger than sample two. Now we need to go into the next part of this and, and look at why sample one is stronger than sample two. What do you guys think? 
Exactly. Sample one is staying on topic the entire time and also answering both pieces of that prompt. The prompt is focusing and asking us on what does the author mean by the statement caves can be menacing as they are fascinating. So you technically have to prove both sides right here, which means that your entire paragraph will be staying on topic if you did. Sample two does not do this because it only focuses on how it's technically dangerous, but the evidence also isn't giving us a good amount of information for how it's dangerous by only giving us one incident, okay? It's not showing us how, why it's dangerous, how they can prevent the like being endangered, just as sample one just did, okay? So this is why sample one is stronger than sample two. Just as a heads up, your secret word for today is tortilla. Make sure you're spelling that correctly in the in the Google form for writing today. It's T-O-R-T-I-L-L-A, tortilla. Okay, now realize we are working again on creating one strong paragraph to answer the prompt. So today we were focusing and thinking about one, how paragraphs are stronger than others based off of how they're responding to the prompt and how they are staying on topic the entire time. So if you're in, if there's a two-piece part to a prompt, you cannot just answer one. You're not staying on topic. You also need to include strong pieces of evidence that is pushing your point. So realize in sample one, the reason why this one is staying on topic more and pushing that point is because it's telling us how the cave is amazing. So this is what makes this cave fascinating. The dazzling crystals, the maze-like passages, the rare creatures, the bones of early humans. Who wouldn't want to see that? And then it talks about how it's menacing, which is dangerous. Right here, animals carry deadly diseases. Of course, you don't want to get attacked by that. It gets very cold in caves. You can possibly freeze to death. Caves can get crushed from boulders. You can be inside and get stuck and be crushed by those boulders. So this is why... They ensure the safety of the people and explorers who go in by giving these types of information and guides to them, like traveling in small groups, wearing sturdy shoes and helmets, carrying supplies like flash ice, food, and water. But if you do get stuck, these are the types of things that you may need to survive. So we know that caves right now through this sample one are beautiful and fascinating, but yet menacing and dangerous. So people, of course, need to be careful when they explore them. All right. So you guys are going to get into the Google Classroom. So you guys are going to answer this question, how has our understanding of space rocks changed over time? And again, in one strong paragraph. You guys are not going to be seeing just an open blank um form anymore, you guys are going to have a Google form like an exit ticket. You need to put in that password and you are going to type your paragraph in that Google form. Of course, you can have this tab open and make sure that you are looking to the text, pulling out information from the text to help you answer that prompt. How has our understanding of space rocks changed over time? Again, one strong paragraph. We need to be staying on topic, we need to be answering the prompt, and we need to be making sure that everything included is answering that prompt for that paragraph and creating one strong paragraph, okay? And of course, you guys will be graded from that. So go ahead and get started on your paragraph work. Have a great day.